hello you are welcome back to our youtube channel serene arts and in today's tutorial you're going to learn how to design this simple logo on your smartphone and this tutorial has been made by mayor craft design and i'm going to link his youtube channel in the description below so you can go and check out his content he's also doing similar things that i'm doing and they are super awesome you can check him out on youtube all right so without further ado let's jump into it Hi friends, this is Mayorcraft Designs. Today, I will guide you through on how to create this logo design using Pizzle application on your smartphone. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so once we open the Pizzle application, we're going to change the image size to YouTube thumbnail. Since I'm using the image for a YouTube thumbnail. Okay, then I'm also going to click on the text here. Then I'll delete that. Then I'll change it to company name. Okay, I'll change the letters to capital letters. Right, I'm also going to change the fonts. Okay, then once I'm done that, I'm, I'm going to change the color to. to this. Alright, then yeah, I'm going to put the text in the middle. Okay, so we're also going to create another copy. So I'm just going to click here, then I click copy, then I put it here. I'm going to click and change it to slogan here. I'll also change the letters to capital letters. Then I reduce this and put it. In the middle also. Right, so I'm going to change the color. Right, so once I'm done with that, I'm going to change, I'm going to join the two texts together. Alright, so we reduce this a little, we put it in the middle. Okay, then now we're going to create a circle shape so i'll increase radius to 100 percent okay then i'm going to change the color to this okay once i've done that then i'm going to create another circle shape so we're going to use this two circle shape to create uh, another kind of shape all right Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to join the two circles together. That's the blue circle and the white circle. Okay, right. Then once I've done that, I'm going to go to Erase Color. I'll click Erase Color, click Enabled. Then I'll increase the tolerance to 24. And the smooth edges, I'm going to take it to 2. All right, then I'm going to click OK and put it here. All right, so once we've done that, we're going to create a copy again. Okay, in order for us to change the color of this one here, we're going to create a shape. Alright, we reduce the opacity. Then we're going to join the, the invincible shape with the other shape. That's this one here and the one we just reduced the opacity. So, these two, we're going to join it together. That will enable us to change the color from blue to another color. Then I click enable. Then I'm going to change the color to this okay then I'll turn it this way to close it close it a little
all right so once i've done that i'm also going to create another one so i'll click copy again remember the same process you create a shape reduce the opacity join it together then we now we can now change the color so i'm going to use this one then i also increase it okay so after we've done that they were just going to join everything together and I click ok all right so now we're going to add our 3d effects to it so we click 3d shape we click enable now we're going to take the depth to 5 right we're going to take dark in to 66 okay then the shadow we click shadow we click enabled also we take the blur radius to 7 the offset x we take it to minus 3 and 1 all right then we click okay then we click on the m box okay we click enabled we take our bevel we take it to 100 okay then ambient light we take it to 100 the spectacular hardness we take it to 35 the intensity we're going to reduce it to 66 right then here we're just going to take it to 50 okay then click ok so now the next thing is to import our background so i'm just going to click on this one here I'll go to from gallery all right so the background I'm using is this one here you can go to the video description I'll put a link to where you can download the materials there all right okay so now we're going to place the logo on the background so i'm just going to use 3d rotate and i'm going to take the wires to 22 all right so we're going to click with rotate we take it to one We click on save as image all right then i'm just going to take this to ultra then I'm click save to gallery all right so then save on your phone i hope the video was helpful if this was helpful make sure to give this video a like share with someone you feel may find the video helpful and if you haven't subscribed to this channel yeah the channel you're watching presently make sure to subscribe with notification on so that you can see more videos like this and if you want to check out my channel just go to the video description i guess my link will be there the link to my channel will be there so you can check it out all right thank you all so much again i'll see you guys next time